Hey friends, Dr. Rob, I'm back in the community garden this week. Now, this garden, there's probably about 70 plots here, and ours is plot number 62. And guess how much it costs for us to have a plot in the garden here? It's very expensive. You ready for this? $58 for the entire year. Are you kidding me? It is so much fun. And one of the things I love about our community garden is that we have rules and they're enforced. You can't just trash the place. You can't just plant something and then not take care of it. If you do, then you get one of these little babies over here. Can you see that? That's a yellow stake. If you get a yellow stake, that means you haven't been taking care of your plot. And as a matter of fact, you got 10 days to get it right. And if you don't get it right, then you get the dreaded red stake. And if you get a red stake in your garden, you know what happens then? Anybody else can come and pick any of your fruit and then a couple weeks later they'll give your plot to somebody else who's on the waiting list. Why? Because you didn't take care of it. Hey, we've been talking about necessary endings and there's things in our life that we just have to take the time to do what's right to end some things to make our life better. As a matter of fact, there's probably some things in your life right now that you have a yellow stake going on. You know you have to do it, you just haven't got to it. But here's what the problem, if you let them go too long, they become red stakes and then we're all in trouble. Actually, uh, uh, Henry Cloud makes the point, he uses a, a, a gardening analogy when he says what actually needs to be pruned. There's three types of things. What are the things in our life that are just, they're dead? I mean, you know what, they used to be a part of our life, they're not anymore, but you just need to end that, you just need to get your pruning shears and cut them right out. Those are the easy ones. The things that are dead, go ahead and remove them, move on from those in life. Then there's the other things that are sick. And the sick ones, sometimes you can save one of the sick branches, especially if it has fruit on the end. But often what you'll find is it's sort of broken or leaning over and you can stake it back up and see if the nutrients can still get to it. Sometimes they're worth saving. Most of the time you gotta go ahead and prune those as well. And then the other one, now listen to this because this is the big surprise. The other things we need to prune in our life often are healthy. They are healthy and they're producing fruit, but if you just let all of the buds start to uh, bloom, then what's gonna happen is none of them are gonna reach their unbelievable full potential. Sometimes some things that are in our life that are healthy and good, you still need to prove those in order to make room for the things that can be even great. I tell my team all the time, what is it in your life that you're good at but you wanna be great at? And do you really wanna be great? Do you wanna pay the price to be great? And they say, yes. I said, okay, then tell me what good things you're gonna cut out of your life. Because the enemy of the great is not the bad. The enemy of the great is the good. It's the things that takes up the time and the resources in our life in such a way that we don't have the capacity to go after the great. So this week, once again, I want to give you the uh, necessary endings download. Or actually, you can just go back and get that from that uh, last week. And so what I want to make available to you this week is once again an opportunity to get the executive book summary of Good to Great. So you can look at that principle from Jim Collins' perspective as well. One more time, we're gonna be in the garden uh, in our next video because I wanna tell you one more thing about necessary endings that perhaps you hadn't thought of. Hey, this is the Robster, Dr. Robster. Hope you're doing fantastic today. Have a great week and end those things that really need to go so that you can be great. Have a great week.